Confirming the incident, Gladys Kirong, the deceased mother, said that Edna suffered from an unknown disease for a long time before the doctor confirmed it to be hepatitis B at the time of her death. Kirong added that five members of her family have since been diagnosed with the same disease after Edna's death and have been isolated because the community fears contracting the infection if they come in contact with them. So far, no vaccination has been given to prevent infection to other family members who have not been infected. Hepatitis B is a potentially life-threatening liver infection caused by the hepatitis B virus. The virus is most commonly transmitted from mother to child during birth and delivery, as well as through contact with blood or other body fluids, such as blood, sweat, saliva, semen, or open sores. Usually... Uh, that child upon birth, mm -hmm. you will give immunoglobulins mm -hmm. and immunoglobulins will be to mop up. Mm. Mop up any hepatitis that may mm -hmm. get into the body before mm -hmm. it manifests as a disease. Mm. And number two, we give uh, a vaccine. Mm -hmm. And the vaccine is to prevent you mm -hmm. from getting ill. Most people do not experience any symptoms when newly infected. However, some people have acute illness with symptoms that last several weeks, including jaundice or the yellowing of the skin and eyes, dark urine, extreme fatigue, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal pain. The World Health Organization estimates that in 2015, 257 million people were living with chronic hepatitis B infection, with some 887,000 deaths reported. Hepatitis B is a major global health problem. However, a safe and effective vaccine that offers a 98 to 100 percent protection against hepatitis B is available. Preventing hepatitis B infection avoids the development of complications, including the development of chronic disease and liver cancer. Winnie Lubembe for Ebru TV.